What's up guys? It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. And I don't know why you're laughing at me while I'm making a video. But uh, normally I do an unboxing of something. But this time I can't do the unboxing because to be able to transport this damn thing, I had to take it out of the box and put it on top of a Toyota Corolla. And it's 166 pounds, so that kind of sucked. And I cut the hell out of my hand twice in the process. And almost killed a Mima. But... We got it. This is the baby. Oh. So this is a comfy brand washer and dryer with all the bells and whistles in the back. You have the heat or hot line and a cold line, which is kind of cool. Maybe you can see it, see it, see it, yeah. And then a drain line. And in the front, this is a pullout for, uh, the fabric softener and the detergent, which is awesome. It has an option, supposedly. Hopefully we get to that point. It has an, oh my gosh, thank gosh it has hoses. I was just thinking about that, that's amazing. Um, and then it looks like a little lint trap there at the bottom, which is kind of cool. But, um, well, let's see if I can get this open in the same amount of time that I'm trying to make this video. Well, I think I need something to open up. That's okay. This is glass. This looks like a professional washer that you would wash your clothes at, like we did in Maui or whatever at a laundromat. So pretty nice. Um, it's got a nice large display there. We're gonna turn it on and just, well, it's plugged in. Maybe I can turn it on now. Ooh, that sounds fancy. But you got all your digital display there and we're gonna get it all hooked up and I'm gonna give you a review on what I think on the entire, that's Mima. She hides in the background and doesn't say shit. <laughs> She's always there. Look, right there. <laughs> anyway, uh, hopefully this is gonna work out. It's got a setting by the way that, it's like an overnight setting. It washes and dries your clothes all in one shot. Less work for Mima. That's kind of nice. Stay tuned, let's see what happens. Okay, so as previously done, whoa, shit. What was that? Charging cord. As previously done with the other washer that I had to do, um, extended hose, if it's gonna be like anywhere remotely away from your fridge uh, sink. So I'll put that in the link in the description below. With this one, um, you have the regular hoses, but it's not gonna be long enough, so. I got the extender, so I will put this in the description below, or you can get three quarter adapter to three quarter adapter brass hose fitting. And I'll also put some Teflon tape in the description below. So hopefully that information helps you. I am also going to be trying to just run this off of the hot water side, not the cold water side, because I don't have an adapter to run both. And if I have to buy it, I will, or at least try to find it. So stay tuned. Okay, so I put four towels in to try it for the first time because some stinky ass towels. The dish detergent goes there. Washing detergent, it's not dish detergent. Look, quick wash. Start. It locked. And hopefully we're good. Okay, so to make this as easy as possible to understand, if you're gonna do quick wash, it's gonna use cold water. If you're gonna put it to your tap, but you're not going to use the hot water side because you don't have two hoses to hook up, then it needs to be on the cold water side or it's not gonna run. It is running now, you probably can't see it, but only because the cold water side is run there. And maybe this matters, maybe it doesn't, but turn them both on over there. So something that's really important on the back of the unit, um, make sure that you take out the bolts that are for transport. And basically what that does is if they're right here on all the corners or whatever, and it stops the item from being moved around the drum from being able to move around while you're transporting it. But if you're not transporting it, it stops it from being able to operate properly. Now, but a few minutes ago, 
Sorry. That's with the towel in there now and it's shaking a little bit. But when I had a towel in there before, it was shaking violently. So if you leave those bolts in there, you're gonna have an issue. So make sure you take them out.